everyone, my name is Brittany Graham and I am the Director of Administration here at Chandra Creatives. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Don't forget the three commandments, like, share, subscribe, like our videos, share our links to the show and other videos and subscribe to our channel. Welcome to our third virtual showcase and we're under the theme my response is to praise listen we have so many things in line for you and we don't want you to leave stay tuned there's more things in store once again welcome to our channel don't forget to like share and subscribe welcome to Sean Joy Creatives Welcome back to Shane's Virtual Showcase 21, episode 3 under the theme, My Response is to Praise. Now being that we're in the month of March, which is recognized as Women's Month, we would like to just take the time, you know, to let our women know that we appreciate them, you know, we want to take the time to salute a woman, you know, and we want to let the women know that we love you from the bottom of our arms. I'm sure you can tell there's a reason why I'm hosting and I'm not one of the people singing. Yeah. <laughs> our women represent our future, our present, and our past. Past. Speaking of, speaking of past, how about we throw it back for a second and let us, you know, go into the Chandra vault as we can do that. We can do that. Let me get a word from our producer. There's nobody there! Let us start back to the Shandre Ball. <laughs> As the Royal Stone will bless our hearts with their rendition of Great Are You Lord. It's a privilege to worship 
17 says, I will give thanks to the Lord because of his righteousness. I will sing praises of the name of the Lord Most High. What does it say to us? It says, regardless of whatever situations we are in, the Lord is still worthy to be praised. Regardless of us going through good or bad times, the Lord is still worthy to be praised. And we shouldn't really just praise the Lord because of what he does for us. We should praise the Lord because his name is Excellent.
is Siobhan and I'm a member of Royal Sound. I'm a performer and I'm here to share with you how I use praise, you know, through, through trying times. And I can tell you, praise is really a weapon for me. It is really a weapon because whenever I am feeling down, if I get into praise, I can assure you that at the end of that song or even during the song, my entire being begins to change. I start to feel a lot different. I start to feel lighter. I start to feel free. So praise for me is everything. Like I don't, I don't want to miss praise and worship. Like if I'm invited to a church, I ensure that I reach in time for the praise and worship. If I miss it, it seems like something is just missing from my day at church. That's how much I am invested in praise. And I just want to share this scripture, Psalm 108, and I'm reading from the message version, right? And it says, I'm ready, God, so ready, ready from head to toe, ready to sing ready to raise a god song wake soul wake loot wake up you sleepy head son i'm thanking you god out in the streets singing your praises in town and country the deeper your love the higher it goes every clouds a flag to your faithfulness soar high in the skies oh god cover the whole earth with your glory and for the sake of the one you love so much reach down and help me answer me and i love this scripture and i love the version from the message from the message bible i really love that version because you know it speak very layman and it speaks to whatever I may go through on a daily basis, you know, and how to honor God, you know, sing his praise in the street, whether you're on the bus or you're walking or you're driving your own car. You know, I just want to break out in praise, especially when I'm feeling down, especially when I'm feeling good. That's like every time, you know, praise is just what it is. Praise is where it's at for me. So these are my two cents. finding ways in which praise has um, benefited our lives and my entire existence is testimony to the fact that praise really changes lives I 
I found where praise has taken me through college. Um, it has taken me through my depression. It has taken me through so many things because of the fact that I believe that just as with the Hebrew boys, even if he doesn't, he is still worthy of our praise. He's still worthy of my adoration. He's still worthy of all that is due unto him because guess what? He is God. And if we only would just trust him, if we only would just allow him to do what he does best, then it will benefit us in the end. And my favorite, favorite scripture about praise comes from Psalms 150, verse 9, that says, Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And Psalms 150, verse 19, I think. Um, Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. That means you don't need a degree to praise the Lord. You don't need a master's or doctorate. All you need, the only qualification you need to praise the Lord is breath. So today, take the time out and give God some praise. Hi guys, my name is Gavin White, representative for Chandra Arts. So 2020 for most of us was a very rocky year. For me, I had my own share of trials. So here at Jekon Corporation, I do sales. And the more uh, cars you sell, the more money you make, the less cars you sell, the less money you make. And because of the whole pandemic, our sales plummeted. All right, and then it left me to a point where I was wondering where I'm going to get money to pay my rent, uh, pay the utilities, and also to put food in the house. But I can stand assured and confident tell you today that I never owed no utilities, no rent, and food was always in my house. At one point, I couldn't find a place to put food. And it's not by my own might, nor my own strength, but it's by God and His faithfulness. And I'm telling you guys, it was an awesome experience and finding out how faithful my God is. Alright, during that entire time, I was introduced to Maverick Music, where that praising Him through the circumstances um, was real to me. And I remember one particular song, Promises, where that song does express the faithfulness of God and He will never leave nor forsake His people. And guys, it was an awesome experience and I can just stand as a testimony to you today. I'm leaving one scripture with you today. It's 2 Timothy 2 verse 13. It says, Even if we are faithless, God remains faithful because He cannot deny Himself. God bless you. This is Chandre Arts Notice Board. We have new music available on all digital platforms. The songs We Are One and Together We Can. Please consider donating to our music creation project. In support of David Sutton, we endorse the event Rushing Wind Sessions happening tomorrow. Now, David Sutton, a psalmist, a man of God, a worshiper, a 2020 JCDC Gospel Song finalist, now is about to share with us, you know, a little bit about who he is and about his journey in the JCDC 2020 competition. As well as, he's going to give us a little bit of insight, you know, into the song that he wrote, why he wrote the song, what was the purpose of the song, and after which, we are going to be blessed by his ministry. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. David. Ah, so our response. Well, I mean, I really love the song. I'll let you know this from now. And I'm not just saying this because I wrote the song, but I really do love it. And what I love about it is its ability to capture how so many people are feeling about God, about the goodness of God, and about the greatness of God. And the reason why I know this is because JCDC has allowed the song um, to be recorded and has allowed the song to reach so many people, uh, whether it's through the music video on YouTube or whether it's through the song being played on the radio or um, on the finals nights when the songs were actually on national television. Trust me, it's been an incredible experience and the song has reached so many people um, along with the other nine songs, of course. Um, but what I found that our response does, it's just so infectious. I mean, I remember um, going to some churches to sing the song live. I mean, I get the opportunity to do that. Um, and just to see the expressions on people's faces. I mean, uh, young people, old people alike. I mean, I love seeing um, some of the more 
mature members of the faith, let's call them that. I mean, I saw them dancing, I saw them shouting, and just the expression on their faces is just beautiful, just as much as the young people. And I love, and I love unifying generations, and I love that this song unifies generations in or response to God. And um, it just all sorts of different expressions, but we all say the same thing, and that is that we are grateful for your goodness, and we are amazed at your power and that's that's really at the heart of the song and I'm so glad that the heart of the song has reached so many people. And of course I have to thank the JCBC company for doing it. Listen, right now though, a lot of people are going through some of the roughest times of their lives, or at least some of the most confusing times. I mean, nowadays nothing seems certain anymore. And for me personally, like, my life's been turned upside down. I mean, a lot of the things that I thought would be constant in my life are not there anymore. A lot of the institutions that I thought would keep me grounded, they aren't there anymore. And it makes it hard for me to chart my future. Um, and it makes it hard for, I don't know if it does that for so many other people. Um, we really don't know what to build or hope on anymore. We don't know what to build or trust on anymore. And some of us, we've lost people, we've lost people we love, we've lost loved ones, we've, um, even some of us, we've, we've wavered in our health and in our, in our finances. And in spite of all of this, man, in spite of all of this, we cannot allow the situations of life to change the confessions of our heart. And the confessions of our heart have to be truth. In spite of the facts, the truth still remains that God is good. Good is not something that God does. God is good. It's who He is. He is love. And He will work anything, anything at all in your favor, in the favor of those that love the Lord. And trust me, He is able to do that. And continue to respond in praise in spite of what you see. Your praise is acknowledging the greatness of God just by just, just by saying, God, I trust you, God, I praise you. Not, not only for the things that you've done, which is awesome, but the things that you're going to do in my life. And just continuing to raise that response. In spite of everything, my response is still hallelujah. My response is still praise. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, Jesus is worthy. Jesus is worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Oh, praise him. Praise him. Oh, yeah. 
Because you don't want to miss those, like, let's be honest, you, 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 you don't want to miss those, like I'm telling you straight up, you, you don't want to miss those, you don't want to miss those. But well, as I'm talking about, go ahead, go ahead and like this video, and like the other videos there, please. Comment down below if we bless your heart, and go ahead and share it with others. Why are you going to keep the joy to yourself? Why are you going to keep all the good singing to yourself? Come on, share it with others. Share the love of the Lord with others. Share this video with others, right? And we will see you next time in Shane's Virtual Showcase in April for episode 4. Oh my god. Yeah, Mr. Wire, of course, alone. Let me post this. Bye, everybody. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more. Join us again on April for episode 4. See you then! <laughs>